So here's another video. And you'll notice it's very dark. And you'll notice that my head is out of the frame. Now on this, on this piece of film, uh, the camera actually shoots a larger frame than what's in here. Um, if I go to fit, I can see the whole picture. And I'm in the whole picture, but the crop to fill gives it that landscape look. So it means it just puts this right in the middle, which I can move up in order for you to see my face. Now that's really very dark and I need to lighten it. So in order to lighten it, if I hit this little palette, artist palette called color correction, I can move this bar over. I can brighten that picture up. Now let's say I like that, but I'd like still to make some changes to it. Let's say if I wanted to, I could go to this option, Ken Burns. I could start the picture here and I could end the picture. Let's go to end down here so that you go from looking at my face to looking at my banjo. Now let's cut a short piece of that so that you can see how that looks in the video. And I'm going to play it. Okay, one more quick change we'll make. We'll just keep that little piece of video. We'll, we'll get rid of the two on either side. And then we'll go back in here and we'll make a sound correction. So I'm going to go to the equalizer. I'm going to reduce the background noise and I'm going to enhance the music. Now, let's see what it sounds like and what it looks like. So, let's just say I want to do that, but I want to like come down to the banjo, but then back up to my face. So what I'm going to do is I've split this piece of video. I'm going to click on the second half. I'm going to go back to my Ken Burns and I'm going to hit this button. And now, uh, I think I'm actually going to turn the volume down because I sound, I sound. So what we're going to do now is we're going to see it go from, from my face to the banjo and back to my face. Oh, and let's just say I want to have a nice little ending. Let's say that's my whole video. So what I can do is I can double click on this video. I can go add cross dissolve and do the same thing here. And now that little piece of video starts softly. It goes down to where it changes direction and then it ends softly. It fades out rather than just stopping. That's a quick lesson on several different aspects of video making. There are others. For example, let's just, let's just do an example. Let's take this second part and let's decide we're going to click on this clip filter and we're going to make that part here Oh, let's make it glow. So literally, we're gonna, it's going to go from one video type. Oh, that doesn't work. Never mind that part. Let's say we're going to make it do something else. But I've already lightened it a lot. So let's say we're going to turn it into... Let's turn it into black and white. Okay? Let's do that. Anyway. That's a quick lesson in some of the things you can do on iMovie. Okay, have a nice day.